So you want to know if you should network to sell your products and services? In this video, I'm going to talk about just that. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey there, my name is Matt Ward and I help service-based business professionals get more word of mouth referrals in their service-based business. If you're new here, well, welcome. I hope that you subscribe and click the bell so that you don't miss a single video I put up on the channel. Now, before we get to today's content, I wanna remind you that I wrote a book in 2018 called More Word of Mouth Referrals, Lifelong Customers and Raving Fans. And you can pick up a copy of that on Amazon via the link in the uh, description and also in, in the uh, comment section. Um, in addition to that, I wrote a book in 2021, came out in October of 2021 called The High Five Effect, How to Do Business with People Who Bring You Joy. It helps you really control your business without it controlling you, which is what happens in most small businesses. Now, to today's content, the question comes up often when I talk to some of my coaching clients and especially the ones in my um, group coaching program is should I network? to sell more of my products and services. Well, certainly the reason by which people do networking and business networking is to uh, get more reach, to get more awareness, to sell more, to build more relationships. Um, but the challenge with the mindset of networking to sell more is that oftentimes then people who show up to networking calls and groups will actually attempt to sell. And as a society, we love to buy. Perfect example, Amazon. We love that type of thing. We love to spend our money. That's why we make money. We like to spend it. As a society, we like to do that. But we absolutely despise being sold to. And that's why we don't like cold calls. We don't like spam emails. We don't like unsolicited contact from sales professionals. So, of course, you want to network to sell, i.e. network to grow your business, but you don't want to network to sell. And that mind shift is completely different. It might not seem like a big deal right now as I say it to you, but just think about it for a second. When you go on a Zoom call to learn about what somebody else does and all of a sudden they say, oh, by the way, can I quote you on your life insurance? What's going on with your 401k? Um, you know, when they ask you directly what you're doing with with that service that they sell, it feels gross because that's not why you were on the call. You were on the call for networking. It's a different story if you contact them and say, I'm looking for a new financial advisor. And then they start asking you questions about that. Now it won't feel gross because you're looking for a solution to the problem that you currently have. And so it's incredibly important that you network to grow your business, that you don't network to sell. It's a mindset change and a shift in your mindset that you need to make in order to, to be able to build the relationships and don't come across as salesy, which no one likes. That's, that's why you, you know, you want to do it with the intention of building the relationships versus making the sale. That's something I talk a lot about. Remember that I firmly believe that people don't do business with who they know, like, and trust. They do business with who they know, like, trust, and care about. So find a way to care about other people. You will grow your business. Your networking contacts will love you to death. And they'll send you a crap ton of referral. That's my advice for you today. As always, if you want to fire up your referrals, you can go to fire up referrals.com and get two free resources to do that. And then you'll get my video tips every single week. And until next time, don't forget to live happy, smile a lot and high five everyone around you.